Don't miss the awesome Naruto stories my sister creates. Her last channel was hacked, so to stay in the loop, please subscribe to her new channel. It would mean a lot to her, and you won't regret it. Hello to all lovers of Lemon Scenes. I invite you all to my boosty so you can watch your favorite Naruto What If stories in complete comfort. A subscription to Naruto Lemon. The first video with a full lemon is already on my boosty channel. Dare. I am cheerful in emptiness. I don't know how much time has passed, but after such a large amount of time without action, you begin to think about your life. I am Naruto Uzumaki, sealed by Kagaya Atsatsuki. At the last moment of the fight, she used some kind of technique. What can I say, during all this time in this emptiness I thought about my actions and actions in life. I was stupid and naive, looking at the world through rose-colored glasses, I thought that every person could change, but that was a mistake. I spent most of my life chasing Sasuke, but why? Even after revenge, he did not stop and wanted to destroy Konoha. So I had to kill him. I knew that after the war he would try to do something. I took Sasuke's eternal Mangyok and Rena Sharengan and fought Kagaya alone. During the battle, all the tailed creatures in Naruto merged into one, making Naruto the new Jinchuriki of the Ten Tails. In the anime, it was necessary to seal all the tailed creatures into the ghetto statue, but I changed it a little, imagine that because of the chakra of the Sage of the Six Paths, the ghetto statue was not needed and Naruto successfully became a Jinchuriki. Naruto noticed that the tailed creatures had merged into one hole at the end of the battle. Naruto also had a Kubikurabocho. Naruto talked about a lot of things. Because of the loss of his friends in the form of tailed creatures, because only they could understand his pain, also about the loss of friends from Konoha and other villages. Dash 3153599999992 Dash 3153599999993 1535999994 Dash 3153599999995 Dash 3153599996 Dash 3153999997 Dash 3153599998 Dash 3153999999999 Dash 3153600000 Slash span, with the last word, Naruto stuck the Kuberoboko into the ground and made a seal. For clones appeared in front of him, we need to find out everything about this world and finally get clothes, the second was red and had one circle with three commas. Regular Sharingan, but can also octet the eternal Manjiku. The body was well pumped up, finally Naruto said in a wheezing voice. Such a long ceiling took its toll. How Naruto has changed, well, let's see. His hair turned white and extended down to the middle of his back due to the fact that he became the Jinchuriki of the Ten Tails. The Renegon was burning in his left eye. The shell was purple on which there were several circles with six commas. Suddenly Naruto opened his eyes. There was emptiness around him, as if he had been put in a box. In his hands he held Kuberoboko, which had already rusted, but the main thing was to find blood, and then the sword would repair itself. Naruto tried to push the lid of the box and it didn't work. Trying to saturate his hand with chakra, Naruto hit the lid again. So Naruto hit the lid twenty times and on the twenty-first it broke. Rising from the box, Naruto noticed that he was in a cave. The clothes had long since disintegrated into dust and now Naruto stood completely naked. So, you find me a couple of victims, take thieves and bandits, I think even if the world has changed, people have no time to change, you, bring me clothes and food, and you too try to find out more about this world the clones just nodded and disappeared. I think we should go to him, Naruto said 
sitting in the lotus position and plunging into his inner world. The water that used to be Shikalatku now reached up to the knee. This water was actually the volume of chakra in a person. Walking to where Karama used to be, Naruto came out to an even larger room in the middle of which it sat. A giant creature with one large red eye and a polished face. The jaw was strewn with large teeth that could bite through anything possible. Ten tails developed behind his body. This creature looked at Naruto and did not look away. It didn't try to attack or anything, it just studied its guest. Naruto approached him without any fear. The creature expressed its dignity and greatness with all its appearance. Hello, Naruto said, waiting for a reaction to his greeting. Jubi looked at the guest and felt the very great strength of this boy. It began to open its mouth and began to speak. Greetings Naruto Uzumaki, Jubi said in a loud and bass voice. A strong wind rose from his voice. I would like to talk to you. Jubi looked at Naruto with interest, saying that he agreed, AI equals 8, the conversation consisted of getting to know each other, telling their stories and planning what to do in the new world. After saying goodbye, Naruto came out of his subconscious and after about an hour, clones arrived with food and clothes, as well as a clone with two people. By forcing them to disperse, Naruto received the memories of the clones. There is a village a few kilometers away. There was no sense of chakra from almost all the people. Everyone spoke a foreign language, but Naruto was ready that the language would change over time. The village consisted of tall houses and countries of boxes that moved at great speed on wheels. Without hesitating, Naruto approached one of the people who brought the clone and architected such a Renegon ability as the path of Nintendo, absorbing souls and reading thoughts. You can learn about this world with the help of the eternal Mangyok, but there is no time to climb in memory. With a quick movement, a blue clot of energy came out of the man and new memories appeared in Naruto's head. Now there were no problems with the language and Naruto did not need to learn anything. Naruto missed this man's personal life, he didn't need to know about this man. Suddenly the second man woke up and, realizing that he was tied up and a dead man was lying in front of him, began to slowly panic what happened. Where am I? Naruto drew attention to the man who had woken up and, taking a rusty Robocho cube, approached the man, greetings, can you help, man I just managed to raise my head when something huge and metallic penetrated into my chest. Looking down he saw a giant sword. Ay ay ay. Help. After half a minute, the man died and began to dry up like a leaf that fell from a tree in the fall. The sword again regained its former appearance and shone. After getting dressed and eating, Naruto received information from the other two clones. They managed to read a small part of the history of this world and learn the geographical location of the lands. The world has changed in 10,000 years. Well, let's look at the new world, I think it won't be boring. Minus 997. Minus 998. Minus 999. Dash 1000, said Naruto sticking the Kuburaboko into the ground. It's only been a week since it was unsealed, but Naruto has already settled into this world. Naruto learned a lot from this world and also began his hard training. Yes, during the war he was strong that he received the title of God of Shinobi, but this was thanks to Kurama. It provided him with a lot of chakra, so he needed to train. Yes. Now there was a creature in it much stronger than Kurama. You finished, said someone's voice. It came from Naruto's head. Yes, Naruto said, removing something from his head. It was a smaller ten tails. Jubi opened his eye and looked at his Jinchuriki. That's good, now let's move on to studying the genomes that you received when you became my Jinchuriki, AI equals 8, Naruto looked at Jubi and smiled. That creature that was in the war was the most terrible thing that the earth had seen, but now Naruto was holding the cutest creature in his opinion, or Naruto went crazy during the ceiling, how cute you are, how cute you are. A, the training really started faster. Everyone studied one thing, but in the evening Naruto became very tired and Naruto fell exhausted. 
He may have learned the S-Class technique, but he wouldn't have fallen like that after using hundreds of clones. The problem was that Naruto transformed into a tailed beast, and this spent a lot of chakra and strength, and it was harder to learn the genomes, okay, said Naruto creating a hundred clones and every ten went to train, as I see, you are doing well, but you need to do it faster. Create a hundred clones and send every ten to train genomes and transformations, Jubi was approaching Naruto. Approaching, he began a conversation Naruto sat like that all day and only towards the end of the day the sand gave way and moved as it should, albeit a little crookedly. The next day was spent consolidating the trainee. While training, Naruto remembered his friend Garu, who with one thought could protect the entire village, not bad. But we need to do better, continue. Naruto began releasing chakra and tried to direct it into the sand. It was difficult, but after an hour the sand slowly began to grow and a huge pile of sand appeared, Try to release chakra into the sand and lift it up. As Naruto approached, they told him to sit down, kh, kh. So, the first genome, the sand genome from Shikaku, the second lava genome from Sun Goku, the third, the steam genome from Kokuo, the fourth, the acid genome from Saiken. Also, I will teach you to accept the forms of all tailed creatures and their individual parts. Let's go to that lake. Jubi said all this and pointed with one of his tails to the lake, which was not nearby, of course, Naruto said while stroking Jubi, thank you, of course, but no one cancelled the training. The ten tails widened its eye a little. He was surprised. He was glad that he was not being used as a weapon. But he didn't intend to start nagging. A month passed, Naruto was already able to use genomes at the Jounin level, and two weeks ago Naruto began to study what seemed to be the most powerful genome that only Hashirama Senju had, the tree genome. It was even harder to teach him, but there was progress. Elemental techniques were much easier. Naruto was at a level close to that of Akage in the elements. Naruto also trained with Kubikuribocho and Sasuke's eyes. Susano was dark orange like Itachi's in canon. Naruto only had Susano bones appear. Now Naruto was walking through the city. He was wearing a black turtleneck, black pants, and boots. On top he was wearing a black cloak, and on his face was a mask that covered the lower part of his face. There was a giant sword behind his back. So that people he met would not have questions, Naruto used the Hayang technique on an ordinary person. It was getting dark outside and the streets were empty. Naruto walked up to one of the stores and went in to do some shopping. A girl of about 19 to 20 years old was sitting behind the cash register. She looked at the arrival and then stared at the phone again. The store was empty and there was no one except Naruto and the saleswoman. What should you take, Naruto asked Jubi mentally. Chocolate. You have a sweet tooth, Naruto said taking some chocolate and having a snack for yourself. Suddenly Naruto heard the voice of a man. Peeking out from around the bend, Naruto saw a man threatening the girl with a gun. Jubi-kun, can I, asked Naruto. Yes. Naruto took off his hyunj and walked towards the man. The girl saw him, but the man had his back turned. Suddenly, in one motion, Naruto snatched the gun from his victim's hands. The man turned and saw a two-meter man with a huge sword. The pistol in the hand of this giant began to bend. Well, hello, what are you doing, the girl is working, and you threaten her with a pistol. Choose a more local enemy. The man did not wait and punched Naruto in the face. Having struck the man, he recoiled. It was like he hit a stone. Oh, oh, oh. You made your move, now I, Naruto said, removing the mask from his face. The girl immediately fainted, and the man stood shaking with fear. Naruto stood in front of him with a terrible mouth. Smile from ear to ear. Giant teeth. Why, hit me again. The man had nothing to say. Boring, last what the man heard before being eaten. 
The mouth turned into a reverse smile and Naruto began to wait for the girl to wake up. She woke up 15 minutes later. Finally, you woke up. The girl looked at the man who came in first and blinked her eyes in surprise. Naruto put on the henge again. Protect, Naruto said putting the groceries on the checkout. The girl shook her head and defended the groceries. Having paid, Naruto wished him a good night and left. A small jubi appeared on Naruto's head and snatched the chocolate from Naruto and began to eat it. Bon appetit said Naruto as he walked down the street to meet adventures. A year has already passed and there were rumors all over the world about a man with a giant sword, who was nicknamed the Executioner. Crime in many cities decreased with the arrival of this maniac. During this time, Naruto did not change at all in appearance. But he became much stronger in Genoma techniques. Walking along the street of the city of Gardenia, Naruto felt a strange energy. Suddenly he was interrupted. I'm hungry. Jubi-kun, did you eat an hour ago and you're not full yet? I want meat, otherwise it's just chocolate and people. Okay, okay. Suddenly Naruto saw a girl about 14 to 15 years old who was holding some strange creature, a little Jubi also saw him. I want him. But I can come up, pick up this something and feed it to you. Why? Let's ask where to get this and we'll buy it. A. Yes, and this is thanks to Tecna, said Bloom. A, but you didn't feel it, it seems to have chakra, but slightly changed, I have only one question, how they saw me, delicious, Naruto stood on the roof of a neighboring house holding the poor animal. Having held it, Jubi swallowed the animal in one go, A where is one of the animals, I don't know, but it seems he is from the black circle of magic, said Muse, what was it, Naruto did not hesitate and disappeared, fool. They see us, said Jubi, Naruto did not understand what was happening, who are you? The girl said, getting into an attacking position. Only now the girl saw that all the animals were staying away from him, okay. Hey, can I have this cutie, this said something on the man's head. It did not look like any of the animals and had ten tails and one eye, everyone could not understand who it was. A power similar to fairy magic emanated from the man and the winks thought that he was one of the magicians of the black circle, well, choose, suddenly a man in a cloak and mask with a giant sword came through the door. He approached one of the animals. Yes, and this is thanks to Tecna, said Bloom, we are doing very well at this rate, we will sell all the animals before the evening, said Layla, now everyone from the winks club was in the store. Sales of magical animals grew every hour. Well, don't be offended, I'll buy another chocolate later, and now let's go buy you something to eat. I would eat it later but you're tired of chocolate, hey, this is mine, thank you, Naruto said handing the girl the chocolate, over there, the girl pointed to one of the shops that as soon as the beast saw Naruto, it immediately got scared and hid in the girl's jacket, hello, can you tell me where to get such a cutie, dot approaching the girls, Naruto started talking. You're just delaying my lunch. I see, I think we will meet again but Naruto didn't know how quickly they would meet. After a long day, the Winx Club headed to the Fruity Music Bar for a concert by classmate Bloom. At the same time, Naruto was there and he saw these girls. I didn't think it was so fast. What's so fast, said Jubi after finishing his I'm portioning some fruit. No, nothing, Naruto said while continuing to eat. There was a concert in the same cafe. Naruto didn't like such a noisy event, but there was nothing he could do, and he didn't want to throw everyone into a genjutsu. Suddenly Naruto felt energy coming from under the bar. Looking at the girls who wanted to attack him this afternoon, Naruto was convinced that they felt the same, but it seems they were mistaken with the person. When everyone started to leave, Naruto wanted to see what these girls would do. After a while, everyone left and the girls wanted to talk to the girl who they thought was sensing magic. But before they had time to approach, the clouds began to thicken and four men appeared. One had shoulder-length red hair, another was wearing some kind of hat, the third was wearing some kind of cloak, but the fourth had a strange hairstyle. Finally, we found the last fairy of the earth. 
he said with red hair and they formed a circle where the girl began to be sucked in. What? It's not her, said the man in the cowboy hat. How did you deceive us? Said the one with red hair. These are the magicians of the black circle, winks and chantics. Naruto sat on the roof and watched this, but when he saw those girls in such a vulgar outfit, he choked on fruit. K.H., Ku, what is this? When did fairies start dressing like that? What? asked Jubi. Nothing, now let's see how they fight. Watching the further battle. Naruto became more and more disappointed. No blows, just magic, as he found out later. The enemies of these girls used not only magic, but also strength. Suddenly one of these men set his sights on the red-haired girl, and Naruto also saw six men running to help. Apparently they're guys, okay, will help, otherwise I didn't pay for the animal then. Jubi Kun went back into the seal. The ten tails quickly disappeared into the seal. Eh, finally someone is quieter. Naruto took out the Kuburaboko and imbued it with the element of wind, threw it at the man who was aiming at the red-haired woman before spinning it in the air. Gantlos, the man in the cowboy hat was already aiming at Bloom, but suddenly sensing danger, he jumped away. At exactly the same second where he was standing, a gigantic sword flew past and flew back like a boomerang. Everyone followed where the sword was flying and saw a man in a cloak. He grabbed the sword with a slight movement. Suddenly he folded something out of his hands and six exactly the same people appeared nearby. The original pointed to the girls, who stood in a stupor. Six exactly the same people surrounded the girls. Well, why are you fighting against girls? Take the enemy to a more settled place. How dare you, the man with red hair wanted to finish, but he was interrupted by a blow to the stomach. Everyone perked up and began to attack this unknown person, but he easily blocked and countered. Suddenly, the magicians of the black circle took off using magic. They wanted to shoot magic from afar and win this battle. Naruto looked at this skeptically and, concentrating, six wings and one tail emerged from his back. This gave Naruto the opportunity because everyone fell into a stupor. A moment and Naruto sends one of the four into the ground with a roundhouse kick. This was observed by the Winx Club and specialists. The way this man single-handedly wielded a giant sword and still managed to attack. But it was even more surprising when three pairs of wings emerged from the man. The magicians of the Black Circle were severely exhausted and beaten. One person managed to bring them to this state. We retreat, said the red-haired one and everyone disappeared like fog. Naruto descended to the ground and removed the wings of the seven tails. Who long ago learned to use parts of the bodies of tailed creatures. Hey, relax, Naruto said and his clones disappeared. Naruto began to move away, he had nothing more to do here. Suddenly he was surrounded by specialists. Guys, you didn't see how I beat those guys. If you don't leave, I'll roll you into the asphalt. Naruto said with a more eerie aura. Wait, are you a fairy too? Asked Muse. Naruto turned around and saw this crowd of girls. No, no, no. I don't dress like that. Naruto said. The girls didn't understand his joke. I'm not a fairy. A simple person. Lie more. An ordinary person could not defeat the magicians of the Black Circle, said one of the specialists that surrounded Naruto. Naruto got tired of this and in a split second this man found himself pinned to the ground. You know, my friend is hungry, Naruto said and something appeared on his head. It opened its mouth covered with teeth. Stop, said Muse. Naruto looked at the girl, then at the guy. Sorry Jubikun, I'll find you another lunch, Naruto said, removing his foot from the specialist's chest, but then kicked him with great force, sending him flying into the car. You'll know how to dare me, Naruto said as he left the battlefield. Naruto walked through the forest and thought about today's battle. Fairies? Magic? Mages of the Black Circle? 
it's so hard to digest all this. Well, sleep a little, after rest you'll think better, said Jubi. You're right, said Naruto, jumping onto a tree and falling asleep, but he didn't even know where he would end up. Naruto woke up in the void. There was nothing around and only a small ten-tailed creature lay nearby. Jubi-kun, where are we? Jubi looked at Naruto with his red eye and spoke. A. Everyone who was there opened their mouths and widened their eyes, wow, well, the last ones, Naruto said as he approached to Kami and kissing her on the lips. Kami opened the portal, yes, by the way, how do you get out of here, something else, something else, after listening, the gods agreed and a book appeared in Kami's hands, so, first, I need a book on all the worlds that currently exist. I think there are a lot of them, so I need to know at least a little about them, Naruto began to think what he needed. Suddenly he came up with an idea, whatever you want, only within reasonable limits, well, what will I get from all this, this is not a joke. Kami said calmly, ha, ha, ha. Oh I can't. Those girls dressed in stripper costumes. Oh, they made me laugh. And even if this is so, I could defeat them even when I was a genin. Naruto said, wiping away tears of laughter. After listening to this, Naruto processed the information received and began to laugh, we cannot ask you for this, but we have to. In the future, danger is coming and those girls whom you saw today will fight against this evil, but if everything goes like this, they will lose and therefore we ask you to help them, there was a lot to think about, so what do you need, you, as we see, changed during the ceiling. Shinigami said. What did the gods need from me, Naruto realized that he was invited to communicate for a reason, Naruto stood with the sword for a few more seconds, but then he decided not to tempt fate and put the sword away. The jubi also began to shrink and settled on the size of a cat. Why are you reacting this way? Please let go of the weapon, Kami said. I think I guess where we are, as soon as the ten tails said this, two flashes appeared next to them. Naruto and Jubi felt the colossal power from these two and jumped back and took on their strongest forms. Naruto turned on his ten tails mode. Nine Gadadam were flying behind his back, his hair was flying, and the Kubikuribocha was covered with drawings with nine commas. The jubi took on its previous form and rose up many hundreds of meters, preparing a bija bomb. After a few seconds, Naruto and jubi made out the individuals. Naruto recognized only the shinigami with the tanto vortu, and jubi also recognized the second one. It was a woman of about 19 to 20 years old with dark hair almost to the ground. It was Kami, the goddess of life, and next to her stood shinigami, the god of death. That was the last thing I wanted, Naruto said jumping into the portal in time before he was buried alive. As soon as Kami came to her senses, she blushed heavily and screamed, slash span, he once helped us with the magicians of the black circle. He alone fought with him on an equal footing, said Bloom, who, it's him, said Layla, everyone slowly began to disperse. The Winx Club and teachers remained at the site of the crater, go to bed. The Winx Club can handle this task, who is this, asked one of the crowd, everyone in Alfia woke up to a loud rumble and earthquake. All the teachers and students ran out into the street and saw a giant crater, which by some miracle did not hit the room where the students were sleeping. When they approached the crater, everyone saw a man in the center of it. When the Winx saw him, they immediately recognized the man with the giant sword that helped them against the magicians of the Black Circle, suddenly, at an altitude of 50 kilometers above Alfia, a portal opened. A body flew out from there and began to fall to the ground at great speed. The body began to heat up, but due to regeneration, the ten-tailed cells of the body were restored. Due to the fact that Naruto used the portal for the first time to move between worlds, time was also distorted for him. While he lingered in the portal for 15 seconds, two weeks passed in the real world. The Winx Club returned to Alfia to find a way to defeat Tritanus. Now it was night in Alfia and everyone was sleeping. As soon as Naruto stepped into the portal, he lost consciousness. It's already late, Naruto said stepping into the portal. Listen, let's practice a little with moving between worlds. 
I feel that the portal is not functioning well, yes, yes. Let's go. Naruto said, standing up and architecting his Renengan. Concentrating, Naruto applied chakra to his eye and imagined where he needed it. A black funnel appeared in front of him if you die, I will ask Shinigami to revive you and I will kill you again, why are you so nervous? As if something would happen, are you sure? To get where we need to go the first time, without proper preparation and not knowing what awaits us there, Jubi said with concern, these girls were talking about some Althea. It seems this is a school and I know where we need to go. And thanks to me, I'll get there. Naruto said and architected the Renegon in his left eye what, I think I found it, the next day, Naruto leafed through the book that he received from the goddess and came across the place where he needed it. Like what? Train them. Well, there you go. So what are we going to do, waking up on the same tree where he fell asleep, Naruto paid attention to the book in his hands. Suddenly Jubi started talking to him. Naruto. Suddenly everyone felt the enormous energy emanating from the man. After looking at him, everyone was convinced that it came from him. The man rose to his feet with great effort. A red eye burned in his forehead, and the other two were closed. The body began to take shape, a cloak appeared on the body with nine commas on the back. Nine black balls also levitated behind him. He slowly crawled out of the hole and, looking around, spoke. Oh, then we arrived correctly. Everyone looked at the man in surprise. Who are we and why are you here, said Faragonda. Girls, you remember the creature with one eye and ten tails, after waiting for a nod, he continued, it's me, this idiot opened a portal to at an altitude of fifty kilometers and passed out. It's good that I didn't die. Don't help him, otherwise I don't know much about people. Okay. Headmistress, we'll explain everything later. Now there was a man lying in the girl's room. On his stomach lay a creature with ten tails that swayed to the right and then to the left on their own. The girls looked at him and just wondered who it was. His condition was already stabilized and the wounds from the fall were healing before our eyes. Well, why are you looking at us like that, said Jubi, turning towards the girls. All the animals that were in the room stayed away from this creature. Who are you? asked Bloom. Well I, Jubi. Ten-tailed and the strongest of the tailed creatures. And this. Jubi pointed at Naruto. Naruto, my Jinchuriki, or just a carrier. The girls understood little from his conversation. Well, who are you? Figured it out. Why are you here? Someone asked us to help you. When this crazy guy wakes up, he will start training you. And now I'm going to sleep. Everything would be okay, but someone will have to sleep next to Naruto. Bloom decided to do this and, after changing clothes, everyone went to bed. Now the Winx Club stood next to Bloom's bed and observed this picture. Bloom was lying in the bed, and a stranger was hugging her. What added even more heat was the fact that Bloom had already woken up and was lying with a red face. Help? Yes. But no matter how they tried to separate the stranger from Bloom, his grip was iron. Suddenly the teachers entered the room. These are Griselda, Farragonda, Dufort, Whiskies, and Palladium. Teachers witnessed a scene in this country. What is happening here? Asked Griselda. Yes, we can't get Bloom out, Stella said with a laugh. Stila, this is not funny, said Muse, Stila. This is not funny, said Muse. A, my name is Bloom, said the girl with red hair, slash span, here, here. So now we'll have a training match, let's see what you're strong in, what you're weak in, and then lunch, maybe you are right, this is a secret, and besides, additional training will not hurt and who asked you, so let's say that I was asked to train the Winx Club. There is a great danger coming in the future, and for what? Are you here? Faragonda asked, not paying attention to the girls' reddened faces, nice to meet you ladies, well, and I'm Flora, I'm Layla, I am Tecna, I am Muse, I am Stila, with yellow hair, well, 
I think the Winx Club will introduce itself, said Faragonda, of course, my name is Naruto, Naruto said to Radiant Smile. The girls liked this smile, well, now we can get to know each other normally after an hour of fighting between Naruto and Jubi. The second calmed down. Now in the headmistress's office there was the Winx Club and Naruto oh you, oh, it turns out we have arrived at the address. Then Naruto drew attention to those present, well, thank you, you alive thanks to me, well, why are you, I'm alive, oh, you bastard. I told you that we needed to test the portal. Because of your stupidity, you opened a portal at an altitude of 50 kilometers. So there's also a temporary jam. We arrived there in 15 seconds, but in the real world two weeks have passed. Said Jubi, fighting with Naruto everyone already wanted to talk to the stranger, but they were interrupted, Jubi-kun, where is the refrigerator? It feels like I fell off a high-rise building, the teachers looked at the creature with interest. A colossal amount of magic was felt from him. The teachers were about to start asking questions, but suddenly the stranger began to rise. Getting up, he began to walk around the room. Suddenly he spoke, that's all, Jubi looked at Naruto and touched him with his tail forced him to let Bloom go, can you free Bloom, well, yes, oh, Jubi, right? Tekna asked. Why shout like that, said Jubi getting out of the blanket. Now on a special platform there were six girls and one man with a sword. They were surrounded by students and teachers who decided to watch the fight. Well, how are you going to fight, one on one or all against one? Dash one on one, she said Layla came out like everyone else and turned into a fairy. After the transformation, almost naked fairies stood in front of Naruto. Well, no. This won't do. Naruto said, sticking his sword into the ground and taking off his jacket. A well-pumped man appeared before everyone. What are you doing? Asked Muse. Well, look for yourself what clothes you are wearing. How can I concentrate? So at least you two will be in this position. Let's begin. Layla created a feel it trident from magic and rushed into close combat. The overhead kick is met by a block from Kubikiribocho. A quick horizontal swing from left to right and Naruto jumps away. The fight continued for another 15 minutes and suddenly Layla removed the trident and, taking off, began throwing water techniques at Naruto. Naruto dodged for a while, but decided to attack. Jumping away Naruto began to make seals. Water element. Water dragon. The water in the lake that was nearby began to rise, acquiring the features of a dragon's muzzle. Naruto took the sword in his hand and pointed it at Layla. The dragon obeyed the order and flew away. Layla tried to fly away, but the dragon overtook her. Naruto invested less chakra so as not to kill, but only knock him out. Layla began to fall and Naruto picked her up and put her on the tree. Well, let's see what happens next. Muse was next and she immediately decided to start attacking. Her ability was sound control, Naruto realized. Naruto decided to respond in kind and created a clone with enormous power, the clone and the original clashed their swords. The sound of the impact deafened everyone in the clearing. Naruto took advantage of this moment and, approaching Muse, hit her in the neck. She passed out and went to the kingdom of Martha. Not bad. The rest of the battles turned out to be just as boring. Naruto defeated the steel using the element of wind. One gust and the fairy fell to the ground. Tekna was defeated by the elements of steam. Naruto released a cloud of steam and sneak attacked her. Tekna's devices couldn't help her because of the chakra in the air. Flora Naruto defeated her with her own strength. Thanks to the Makutan, Naruto put Flora to sleep. The last fight was with Bloom. She used fire spells, but Naruto did not lag behind and, moving away, exhaled a fireball 5 by 5 meters. Bloom tried to defend herself with a barrier, but she architected it very late. The fire did not hit Bloom, but the impact of the ball on the barrier was strong and Bloom, like everyone else, fell into an unconscious state. 
Now all the students and teachers have witnessed the easiest victory over such fairies as the Winx Club. Someone could not utter a word. Their opponent used their same abilities but better. Naruto created six clones and each carried one fairy. The original went to the dining room. Wow, how hungry I am. An hour later the girls began to wake up. Each woke up in their own bed. Everyone was in a little pain because of the fight. Who knows what happened? Layla asked. Well, we fought with Naruto one by one and he defeated us all, answered Bloom as the very last one who fought with Naruto. But how did he use the powers of water and fire? Tekna asked. And also the power of nature. He used trees and some flowers because of which I fell asleep. Naruto prevented further conversation. He knocked and entered the room. Oh, we woke up. Where were you? Stella asked. In the dining room, otherwise you were sleeping, and I wanted to eat. Well, what can I say about your strength? Not bad, but needs to be improved. I think if I start feeding my energy into you, the supply of your magic and its power will increase. But oh, theoretically, we can check it later. And by the way, Faragonda called you, and Jubi and I went to bed. The girls finished listening to Naruto and went out to Faragonda. Who do you think he really is? Asked Muse. I don't know Muse, but the fact that he is strong is clear, answered Tekna. After a conversation with Faragondi, the Winx began searching for the power of Serenix to win over Tritanus. All but Bloom were in the room and talking to Serenix's shield. Or maybe Naruto knows about Serenix? Asked Flora. I doubt it, answered Tekna. By the way, will he find Naruto, where is he? Everyone began to look around and in truth, Naruto was nowhere to be found. There he is, said Flora, pointing to the ceiling. Right under the ceiling there was a hammock made of leans in which Naruto slept. Naruto, Naruto. Waking up from a sharp noise, Naruto and Jubi crashed to the floor, what was the name, due to the fact that the attack was sudden, the Winx Club could not find its way, hello girls, do you want to read something? Said Icy, shooting at Bloom while the girls were looking for the book they needed, I walked through the shelves, looking through the books. Suddenly Naruto felt three people approaching. Three witches Icy, Darcy and Stormy burst into the room, everyone walked towards the library. Approaching one of the walls, it turned into a passage into a large room filled with books, well, you can, otherwise there's nothing to do anyway, Naruto said jumping off the hammock and taking the Kuburaboko, Naruto, will you go? Layla asked, half an hour later, Bloom came into the room with news. She found out that the book about Serenix is in the magical library, I see, no, I don't know. It's the first time I've heard it, yes, we wanted to ask. Do you know anything about the power of Serenix, sorry, said Flora. Why scream like that, said Naruto, rubbing the area of the injury. Eh, we still need to train them so that they are ready for a surprise attack, Naruto thought and pulled out the Robocho cubes, twisted them, and threw them at these witches. The sword flew next to Darcy and only thanks to luck she managed to dodge. The tricks looked ere the sword came from and saw a man in a black jacket and black pants. The hair was white like Isis. The eyes were blue. Oh, you ladies, why are you fighting? Naruto asked with a smile, looking at the three witches. And who are you? Are the Winks really selecting all sorts of people for their team? Stormy said laughing. How ignorant you are. Naruto said shooting lightning chakra into the sword. Lightning began to run across the Kubikuribocho and after a few seconds Naruto's body was also covered in lightning. Suddenly Naruto disappeared. What are you doing, I'm close, someone said behind Icy's back. When she turned around, she didn't see anyone, AI equals 6, I'm here, Trix was spinning in different directions but they didn't see anyone, ah. The Trix shouted, Shooting spells in different directions, suddenly Darcy felt a strong pain in her stomach. Having flown into a shelf of books, the Trix saw a stranger. 
Icy wanted to shoot ice magic at him, but he disappeared. Icy felt pain in her back. Only Stormy remained, she tried to find him, but it was a failure, what beautiful girls they fight. Naruto said touching Stormy's cheek, Stormy felt the tingling of lightning on the cheek. Stormy wanted to attack, but felt a blow to her neck and passed out. Icy and Darcy quickly took their friend to the street. Naruto stood and looked at the silent witches. He could have caught up with them and killed them, but for some reason he didn't do it, wow, what was that? Naruto was distracted from his thoughts by Stila and the other girls. It was a cover of lightning. I covered myself and the sword with lightning to gain greater speed. Well, did you find what you were looking for, not yet? Nothing, let's go to bed. The morning is wiser than the evening. Maybe we'll find something tomorrow. The girls agreed and headed to their room. I would like to ask. Are you going to sleep in our room, well, yes. Why are you shy? Naruto said with a smile. All the girls turned red and looked away. Having entered the room, Naruto put his sword in the corner and jumped into the hammock and fell asleep. The girls stopped staying up late and changed into pajamas and went to bed. They didn't even know what morning awaited them tomorrow. Now the sun was just rising outside the window. Naruto was no longer asleep and went to wake up the girls. He decided that he needed to start training as early as possible. Having created a clone for each girl, he went to wake them up. Naruto thought that waking them up abruptly was a little wrong, so he simply walked up and tapped Bloom on the shoulder. Each of the clones did the same. Bloom, get up. Bloom, like the others, began to open her eyes. Everyone stood on the street in sportswear. It was a little chilly outside, but Naruto liked the sunrise. The sun is so long awaited for every person. And there was unusually beautiful nature around. The birds were just waking up and starting to sing. But he was distracted from the pleasure of such a moment. Why did you wake us up so early? asked Stila. I woke you up because from this day at this time you will have training. Two hours physical, two hours with magic. The fact that the girls were surprised was visible on their faces. But don't think that the training will be without a prize. After training, a surprise awaits you. This news made the girls happy. Well, where to start? asked Layla. Around the school ten times, after push-ups thirty, squats thirty and press thirty. All in two approaches. The Winx Club's eyes almost popped out of their heads. But this, Muse wanted to finish, but she was interrupted. I can also add and I will also train, Naruto said taking off his cloak under which he was wearing a white t-shirt and black pants. What are you looking at, Naruto said smiling at their reaction. Naruto ran, and the girls were already running after him. Through two hours, after all, that's how long it took the girls to do the exercises. You did great, Naruto said with a smile, looking at the girls lying under the tree. Well, thank you, Layla said with shortness of breath. Okay, sit in the lotus position, Naruto said to create five clones that sat in a row in the lotus position. The girls repeated and sat down opposite each of the clones. Now I will improve and strengthen your magic, said the original Naruto, taking Bloom's hands. The clones did the same. The girls did not resist and, holding their hands, felt the warmth that came from their hands throughout their entire body. I felt it most in my stomach. So I thought. It's just chakra, but slightly modified. The girls did not listen and enjoyed the warmth. They didn't understand what it was, but it was nice. It also felt good to feel Naruto's hands touching him. His hands were large and soft, but firm at the same time. On behalf of Bloom. I woke up from someone pushing me on the shoulder and calling me. I slowly opened it and saw Naruto. He said to dress in sports clothes and go outside the school. The girls and I changed clothes and stood behind the school. Naruto stood and looked at the sun, and there was calm and joy on his face. 
Suddenly Stila asked why he woke us up so early. Naruto's face did not change, on the contrary, a smile appeared on his face. Although I thought he would be upset that he was distracted. He said that now we will get up and train at OO time. Then he talked about the amount of exercise. I, like the others, was surprised, but Naruto promised a surprise after the training session. Then, taking off his raincoat under which he was wearing a t-shirt and shorts, he ran around the school. We did not linger and ran after him. He finished training in an hour and a half, but we needed all of two hours. After we finished, we fell exhausted under a tree. Naruto created five clones and sat in the lotus position. We each sat down opposite each of Naruto. He said that he would improve our magic. Taking my hands, he began to do something, which caused a wave of heat to pass through my body. I really liked it and I also liked Naruto's hands. So big compared to my hands. Opening my eyes I saw Naruto's face. So calm. The eyes were closed. I wanted to touch his face, but I resisted. End from Bloom's point of view. After half an hour, Naruto finished improving his magic. So now turn around and try to hurt me. After another hour and a half of trying to somehow hurt Naruto, everyone headed back to the room. Entering there they saw a table covered with all sorts of goodies. Bon appetit, Naruto said, taking the sandwiches and lying back in the hammock. What didn't the girls try today? One thing they knew for sure was that Naruto was a very good cook. All day the girls were looking for Serenix's book, but what did Naruto do? Yes, he was sleeping. True, in the middle of the day he woke up from a roar coming from the magical archive, but then fell asleep again. He woke up in the evening because someone was calling him. Opening his eyes, he saw girls holding a strange book. What happened at the tricks after the battle? Now Icy stood by a small lake and called Tritanus, what? I don't know, but he looks good, said Darcy, who do you think this guy is, communication with Tritanus has ceased. Darcy came out to Icy along with Stormy, hmm, this is a problem. I'll see what can be done, yes. Tall, white hair, blue eyes. He carries a giant sword, also has the power of lightning and can move very quickly, what? Who is this? Can you describe it? Tritanus, we have some problems. The Winks have some new member in their team and he single-handedly defeated us, Icy, are you finished already? Well done. How did the mission go, a black spot appeared in the lake and the face of a monster appeared. Tritanus, Tritanus. What's wrong? Tall, blue-eyed guy. And judge for yourself how fast he moved, which means he could have caught up with us and finished the battle, but he let us go. Maybe you're right, or maybe he's a fool. We need to follow the Winks. We move on to the moment when the Winks went after the power of Harmonix to open the Book of Serenix. After another battle against the Trix, Naruto and the girls led the rainbow-maned horse towards a living tree. Well, Naruto could not yet understand the whole world or worlds. It's some kind of horse with a rainbow mane. That living and talking tree. But his s felt like something was going to happen to him. It's a pity that he didn't listen to his instincts again. Approaching the talking tree, it said that this horse saw our intentions and looked into our hearts and now the girls will receive the power of Harmonix. I stood nearby and gold dust flew out of the tree. I didn't pay any attention to this and stood there without moving. I felt for a moment that something was happening to me, but it quickly passed. Returning to Alfea, the Book of Serenix said that the path of Serenix begins. A gold star appeared in everyone's hands. Naruto sat in a separate room and read. Suddenly a star appeared in front of his face. What is this? Naruto asked without a bit of surprise. He took off his glasses and put them on the table. Naruto started wearing glasses. He had no problems with his eyesight, he just really liked to look like that. Maybe Stila is casting magic again without eye contact. 
Wow, I'll arrange this for her during training sessions. Naruto said putting the star in his pocket. Girls came into the room and when they saw Naruto in glasses, they were a little surprised and noticed that it suited him. Well, girls, found your Saranix. Not yet, but we are on the right track. Now we are going to the Cave of Sparkling Shells. Are you with us? Layla said and asked. But Layla, how will Naruto breathe underwater, he doesn't have fairy powers, Tekna asked. And I don't need that, Naruto said getting up. His body began to be covered with a layer of shell, and his head turned into that of a turtle. What is this? I can turn into nine animals. Remember the first meeting, my wings still came out, so these were not the wings of a fairy, but the wings of a beetle. So that's what it was, said Muse. Okay, enough waiting, let's head to the cave of sparkling shells. Naruto sailed on a boat with Bloom, Stella and Layla. And the closer Naruto got to his destination, the more he felt that something was going to happen. Arriving at their destination, the Winx Club decided to try their new powers. Having turned into Harmonix fairies and received new powers, they heard a scream. They turned around to see Naruto on his knees. Ah, what is this? Suddenly Naruto was enveloped in a bright light. Other girls from the Winx Club also watched this. When the light began to fade, they saw Naruto. He was wearing orange pants with black commas and spirals. Ribbons that looked like a mermaid's tail were removed from the belt. He was also wearing a t-shirt of the same color and with the same designs. And most importantly, now there were wings behind his back. And not the same as when they first met, but real fairy wings. What are they? What is this? What happened to me? Naruto screamed at first quietly, and then at the top of his lungs. The girls who watched this were at first shocked, and then they all began to laugh in unison at Naruto's reaction, the girls who watched this were at first shocked, and then they all began to laugh in unison at Naruto's reaction. A. The Winx Club had been watching Naruto's hysterics for 15 minutes. After the transformation, he ran around yelling something in a language they couldn't understand, but apparently the speech contained a lot of obscenities. After running a little more, Naruto calmed down and began to approach the Winx. Naruto, you know, it suits you, Stila said with a chuckle. Look, I'm telling you then I'll do something like this at training sessions. Let's just stand there. It took Naruto quite a bit of time to figure out the wings. Having plunged into the ocean, the Winx Club met a little mermaid. She introduced herself as Lamy. Naruto, like the rest of the Winx Club, felt that Layla and Lamy had some kind of connection. After a short conversation with Lamy, we moved on. We stopped at a giant cave. Lamy said that this is a labyrinth, and that's where we need to go. Swimming into the labyrinth and swimming a little, the girls and I ended up in a room with oil. The oil reminded me of the poisonous chakra of the nine-tailed fox or Karama. Having sailed further, we found ourselves in a room with three shells. A slick of oil flew out of them and enveloped us. Now Bloom, Stila, Layla and Naruto were in a strange space. Each one had hallucinations. Bloom saw Diaspora, Stila saw her copy, which said that the real Stila would not become a fashion designer, and Layla saw the dead Nabu. Thanks to Layla, the girls were able to overcome their fears. They turned around and saw Naruto who had misty eyes. The girls realized that Naruto was in the same place they were. After Naruto fell into a cloud of oil, he found himself, near the leaf village. It was also animated, ordinary civilians were walking along the streets, and shinobi were jumping on the rooftops, either on their way to a mission or home from it. This hit Naruto's heart. As he walked, he noticed many familiar faces. Here along the road were Jenin who had only recently received the rank of shinobi. They think that they will become stronger than anyone, but a very difficult future awaits them. Approaching the Hokage residence, Naruto looked at the Hokage monument. Four faces means Naruto is in the past. 
Having walked further, Naruto entered the Hokage's office without knocking, and there it was as usual. A yellow-haired and always smiling boy asks for a mission. And a cold and always gloomy brunette stands next to him. On the other side of the blonde stands a girl with pink hair and looks in love at the brunette and displeasedly at the yellow-haired one. Behind them stands a man with a half-face mask reading a book. Naruto involuntarily began to cry. Oh, good times, Naruto said, wiping away his tears. Suddenly Naruto felt a pull and he found himself back where he was. In a cave, and girls were swimming nearby. Naruto, are you okay? Yes, everything is fine. Naruto did not understand what happened to him. But for some reason he began to feel sleepy. After the shells told where to swim next, everyone returned to Alfia. Now it was night outside and everyone was sleeping peacefully except Naruto. He woke up several times due to the nightmare, and in the morning he felt tired. While the girls were training, Naruto was resting. Jubi was sleeping on his head. Having finished training, Naruto again improved the girls' magic and after training went to bed. In the next room. Now the Winx Club were trying to solve the second half of the riddle. Suddenly Bloom asked a question. Girls, haven't you noticed that after the sparkling shells Naruto began to behave somehow strangely? A little, after he woke up, he looked tired. Maybe something happened? I don't know Muse, answered Layla. Suddenly Naruto entered the room. Well, did you solve it? When are we leaving? Are you okay, Naruto? It's just, Bloom wanted to finish, but she was interrupted. Everything is fine with Sleepy, Naruto said with a smile. Now Stila, Layla and Flora swam to royal depths. There Stila met her little mermaid named Illyris. Having sailed into the royal depths, they were met by a giant squid. He shot a beam of light from his eye. Naruto dodged, but when he saw Flora get caught in the beam and turn to stone. A feeling of anger began to boil inside Naruto. Snatching his sword, Naruto rushed towards the squid. The squid tried to hit Naruto, but Naruto blocked himself with his sword. Having reached the squid, Naruto cut off two of the creature's tentacles with one swing. The squid roared due to terrible pain. Another swing and there was a large wound on the squid's body. Layla and Stila watched all this. They had mixed feelings. With one Naruto was very cruel, and with the other he protected them. Naruto decided to finish by raising his sword and releasing it with a sharp movement. The squid split into two parts. After that, Naruto calmed down and put his sword away. Looking at the left hand, he fainted. What's wrong with me? Why am I so weak? Naruto wondered while in the void. Now Naruto was lying in the Winx room. Many life support devices were attached to it. What's wrong with him? I don't know Bloom. His physical indicators are fine, but he does not come to his senses. Maybe we'll ask Jubi, Muse gave the idea. It's possible. Having found the Jubi in the hammock where Naruto was lying, the Winx asked to look at Naruto. Jubi sat opposite Naruto and touched his forehead and pulled back. What is it? It seems that it contains your oil. It has a very negative effect on his soul and mind, and if this is not corrected, he will remain like this forever. Hearing this, the Winks were very scared. And what needs to be done? Well, you'll have to dive into his inner world and find this oil. She may be hiding in the depths of his soul and will have to be checked very carefully. Can we help with anything? I don't even know. It may be possible to transfer your consciousness into Naruto, but you will need to be careful. We're ready to help, aren't we girls? Yes. Okay, maybe we can do it faster this way, said Jubi taking the girls' hands with her tails. The moment they were drawn into the dark space. After some time, the Winx Club woke up. Looking around, they noticed that they were in a large and long corridor. Oh, we woke up. 
Congratulations to myself and you on a pleasant landing. Where are we? Tecna asked. We are in Naruto's inner world or just in the soul. Let's go, Jubi said, walking to one side of the tunnel. The girls followed him. Suddenly the world changed. Acquired colors and shapes. It became like a small room. There was trash scattered all over the room in the form of ramen packages. Where are we? asked Bloom. Dash one of Naruto's most vivid memories. It personifies loneliness. Suddenly a boy of about five or six years old came into the room. He slowly lay down on the bed and cried. Is this Naruto? asked Layla. Yes. After Naruto was born, his parents sacrificed themselves to seal the Nine Tails into Naruto. The Nine Tails is one of my parts. About several thousand years I was divided into nine parts. Why is he crying? asked Flora and wanted to calm Naruto down, but her hand went right through. You don't you can touch it. These are just memories, the most vivid ones. This is loneliness and it is at this moment that Naruto will set himself the goal of earning the trust of everyone in the village. I don't feel dark energy. Let's move on. Everyone moved to a clearing in the forest. Now there was a battle going on there. A giant Shuryuken flew towards the now slightly older Naruto. Suddenly Naruto was covered by a man unfamiliar to Winx. Where are we? The next vivid memory. The day when he was recognized as a man and not a demon. Suddenly Naruto made a seal with his hands that looked like a cross and the man with white hair who threw the Shuryuken was surrounded by a thousand clones. They immediately rushed into battle. Not here either, said Jubi and moved on. The Winks followed him and learned more about Naruto. How hard it was for him, but he got up and moved on. They saw a fight between two friends slash enemies. The way Naruto lost his teacher and saved an entire village. And finally they came to an end. The Fourth Shinobi World War. Many people died in this war. The girls could barely keep themselves from crying. Suddenly they were briefly deafened by a roar. Having come to their senses, they saw Jubi. The gigantic creature was so large that it inspired fear only by its size. T this, Muse wanted to finish. That's right, it's me. The hardest thing for Flora was that Jubi was the main source of natural energy, she could barely keep herself from fainting. Looking further at the further actions of this war, the girls became convinced that Naruto's world was very different from their world. Before the battle with Kagaya, everything was according to canon. We won, Naruto said with a victorious voice. Suddenly Sasuke attacked Naruto. What are you doing? asked Naruto getting into a fighting stance. I will not forgive Konoha for what they did to mine clan and by defeating you, I will destroy Konoha. Hearing this, Naruto wanted to persuade his friend, but he attacked. Naruto fought back, but after 15 minutes of pointless persuasion, Naruto became serious and attacked Sasuke. After a long fight, Naruto won, but suddenly Naruto felt a surge of chakra from the side where the defeated Madara was. Looking there Naruto saw a girl about 25 to 27 years old. White long hair and eyes similar to the Byakugan. In the subconscious, the Bijou screamed for Naruto to attack. From some of the words, Naruto realized that this was Kagaya, the mother of the Sage of the Six Paths looking at his former friend, he pulled out his eyes and inserted them into himself. With the regeneration of all the tailed creatures, the eyes quickly settled down and within 30 seconds Naruto opened his eyelids. Everything was so slow and Naruto could see even the smallest stone several kilometers away. But there was no time to rejoice for long, looking in the direction where the colossal amount of chakra came from, Naruto, at very high speed, grabbed the kubikiribocho that was lying nearby. During the fight, Naruto turned off all his instincts. It was a battle of gods, one swipe of a sword cut the ground for several kilometers. Having created clones, they fired raisin shurikens from afar. 
Kagaya, with her Renezarengan in her forehead and Byakugan, fought off the attacks. The battle lasted for a very long time. The Winx watched the battle. They were put there by Naruto's capabilities. It seems I found it, said Jubi. The Winx looked towards Jubi and saw that he was holding a strange substance similar to mucus. This creature mutated and wanted to swallow Naruto, but now that's over, and Jubi opened his mouth and ate this mucus. You can regenerate. Moment and Jubi and the girls found themselves in their room. There was sadness on the girls' faces. Oh, what will happen to Naruto? Well, he'll lie down for a while, rest and get back to normal. Everyone has started to mind their own business, but on this day each of the girls developed strong feelings for Naruto, and will find out how everything goes further in the next chapter. Naruto had been unconscious for three days. The Winks took turns coming to check on him. Tekna came into the room and sat down on the bed and began talking to someone. Jubi, lying on Naruto, heard songs and screams of students outside the window. Today is probably some kind of holiday, thought Jubi and went back to sleep. Tekna was talking to Timmy. Guess what I'm thinking about now? You're wondering if you know more prime numbers than I do. It worked. Saranix's book appeared on the table next to Tekna. Timmy, I'll call you later. Tekna got up and looked at the clue and decided to write it down on her phone. Suddenly, the devices attached to Naruto began to beep. Tekna turned around and saw Naruto. Naked torso, blue-blue striped pants and sleepy eyes. He began to approach Tekna. Tekna wanted to move back, but there was a table there. Naruto came close and looked at Tekna. She wanted to say something, but the words did not want to come out. Suddenly a long gray hand flies across Naruto's face. Following Tekna's hand, she saw Jubi. Wake up, vegetable. Oh, where am I? Jubi-kun, why did you hit me? Yes, you looked at Tekna with that look. Tekna returned to normal. Suddenly she perked up. Naruto, are you okay? No, Naruto said letting go of his face, but then he sharply raised his face and said with a sad face. I'm hungry. Tekna winced, but then she hit Naruto just like Jubi. Naruto fell down and groaned in pain. Damn, I just woke up and they want to send me to bed again. There was just a gorgeous party outside. Almost everyone from the Winx Club was dancing. Only Layla stood aside with a sad face. Suddenly the main door of the school opened and Naruto came out with the jubi on his head and a sword behind his back. Everyone was surprised, and the Winx Club rejoiced and ran to Naruto. Naruto, you woke up. Thank you, thank you, but let me eat. Okay, the girl said, releasing Naruto from their embrace. Everyone watched as Naruto helped himself to just a huge mountain of food. Be bon appetit. Thank you Stila. So the party continued. Naruto ate while everyone else had fun and drank cocktails. Two hours later, when it was already deep into the night, everyone headed to bed. One Naruto sat on the roof of the school and looked at the moon. She was beautiful and big. Suddenly he was touched. Naruto turned around and saw Jubi. What are you thinking about? Oh Atsatsuki. Jubi was surprised, very surprised. When I was fighting with Kagaya, she said something about the clan and that she needed to prepare for an attack. Do you think that the threat that threatens all worlds is Atsatsuki? Yes. Then things are very bad. If you fought with Kagaya on an even level and won only thanks to tricks, then how will we fight with ten or even a hundred Atsatsuki? No problem, we'll break through, Naruto said, taking a cigarette out of his pocket. A, hey, we'll break through, we'll break through, Naruto whispered, closing his eyes, Naruto hugged the ten tails and, looking at the moon, exhaled a puff of smoke. Well, Jubi-kun, you won't do this, yeah, I'll leave you and see how you are without my regeneration. I had them, but what? I almost died, I need to relieve stress, 
and I won't die because of cigarettes. Where did you find the cigarettes? Naruto slowly began to open his eyes. He sat all night on the roof of the school more than once without moving. The jubi was sleeping nearby and Naruto wasted no time in jumping off. Wow, great, the first rays of the sun hit Naruto. So bright, warm and beautiful, wow, it's time to start training. In the Winx room. Now all the girls were slowly waking up. From the training room with Naruto, they already automatically began to wake up with the sunrise. After getting dressed, they went out into the schoolyard. It was a little foggy outside, but the sun still illuminated everything. Suddenly the Winx saw Naruto kicking out from around the corner. He ran to the girls. Good morning, I see you are already getting up, great. Fifteen circles around the school, running march. Naruto said it so quickly and ran away that the Winx Club didn't even have time to understand what was happening. After training. Now Naruto and the Winx Club were sitting at the table. Everyone sat in silence. Each of the girls looked at Naruto. Naruto was reading a book. Suddenly he let go of the book and looked at the girls. What is it? You will soon burn me with your eyes. The girls hesitated a little, but suddenly Bloom spoke. And Naruto, when you became infected with oil, we helped Jubi find it, but also, Bloom wanted to finish, but suddenly she was interrupted by the arriving Jubi. They saw your life before the Fourth World War. All the girls became sad, remembering what they saw. Everyone looked at Naruto again and saw a sharp and cold gaze. Hmm, I didn't want to tell, much less show. I am an assassin, a ninja who came from the past. What you saw was the past of this world. I was sealed for 10,000 years. I don't need compassion. A cold gaze passed over the girls. Each saw a red and purple eye. Ha, huh, let's continue eating, Naruto said with a smile. The girls were very surprised by this. After breakfast. The Winx Club, specialists and Naruto gathered on Musa's home planet for the next clue about the power of Sirenix. On behalf of Naruto. Now I was sitting in the cabin of the boat. We have moved to the planet Muse. Stila, Layla and Muse swam with me. Why did you do this? What? My past, why did you show them my past, Naruto's nerves they began to slowly give in and Jubi felt it. Maybe even he will win the battle against Naruto, but he will be able to harm him well. I decided that it would be faster to save you this way, Jubi's voice sounded quietly. Naruto was surprised. All the ardor disappeared and Naruto descended into the subconscious. Approaching Jubi, who was about the size of a dog, he looked at him tall. Save? Did you really want to save me? Why yes, you are the only one who looked at me with respect and did not interfere with my strength, I could not lose such a f friend. Friend? That's right, what I mean. You did the right thing in deciding to speed up my salvation and I am grateful. Jubi looked at Naruto who was smiling with all his teeth. Really? Of course, I got carried away. Naruto sat down and hugged Jubi. A monster that could tear down kilometers of land, mountains and trees with a roar. Suddenly the subconscious began to glow. The light was so bright that even Naruto closed his eyes. When the light disappeared Naruto slowly opened his eyes. Looking around, he didn't notice the change, but looking at what he was hugging, he was surprised, scared, blushed, and all this at the same time. There was a girl lying in his arms. About twenty or two years old. White hair, the right open eye has a red tint and nine commas, the second one is closed. Horns protruded from the head. The girl was completely naked and looked confused, first at herself, and then at Naruto. Jujubi-kun? Is that you? And Naruto, but suddenly Jubi was interrupted by a deafening scream. Ay -ay -ay. Are you a girl? No, it cannot be. How? 
For half an hour, Naruto ran around his subconscious and screamed. Jubi was sitting, that is, she was sitting on the side covered with Naruto's cloak. He, or rather she, could not understand what happened to her. It can't be, I am Jubi, I have no gender, I am a higher being that stands above ordinary mortals. Jubi, like Naruto, was in deep shock. Suddenly the voice of the muse sounded from behind the subconscious. Naruto opened his eyes, filled with surprise and confusion. Naruto, is everything okay? Why yes, what is it? We have arrived. Muse, Layla and Stila have already approached Muse's house. She immediately had sad memories. Suddenly the Muse spoke. I'll go call Naruto. Okay Muse, said Layla. The Muse went down and went to the last cabin. Opening it, she saw Naruto sitting with his eyes closed. Naruto, Naruto, hey Naruto. Suddenly he opened his eyes. The muse saw surprise and confusion in them. Naruto, is everything okay? Why yes, what is it? We have arrived. Oh, okay then, let's go. Naruto stood up and picked up his massive sword. Naruto walked along the corridor in silence, Muse followed him and looked at his back. She wanted to start a conversation, but Naruto interrupted her. Never mind, what happened in the past remains in the past. I died for that time and was born for this. Naruto and Muse walked onto the deck. Naruto, Muse, here you are. Yes, we were a little late, Muse said. Okay, let's go, Naruto carefully descended onto the small bridge next to the ship. While Naruto was studying everything around, the girls were talking about something. Okay, it's time to dive in, Tecna seems to have found what we need. Sorceresses winks, Harmonix, the girls said. Naruto transformed silently, without shouting, and he is not a sorceress, but a wizard. Still, this outfit suits you, Layla said, laughing a little. Muse and Stila reached out. Laugh, laugh, I'll arrange this for you later. Naruto and Winx were about to dive in, but suddenly the water turned black and a monster appeared. He resembled a mermaid monster. Welcome to you Winx and cousin Layla, Tritanus said in an apparently disgusting voice. You are a monster brother. Like you, said Tritanus, shooting a dark beam at Layla, but Muse covered her. There is no Muse. Suddenly everyone heard a whistle. Looking in the direction of the whistle, Tritanus barely managed to dodge a flying sword that intended to cut his head. The sword returned to its owner like a boomerang. So you are the same person who single-handedly defeated the tricks, what is your name? Naruto put the sword on his shoulder and said. Naruto, Naruto Uzumaki, and you are a complete ass. Tritanus did not understand the words, but looking at the ship that was not nearby, he saw another Naruto. The one he quickly folded out of his hands and a bolt of lightning appeared in his hand. The clone quickly jumped into the water and discharges of electricity went through the water. Tritanus was severely electrocuted and decided to retreat. The muse turned into a monster and jumped into the water. The current had already disappeared and no one was electrocuted. Naruto jumped after Muse. Naruto looked at the transformed Muse and thought. Problem, you can't attack with full strength, after this thought Naruto put away his sword. Layla and Stila swam towards him. Naruto, what are we going to do? I will distract her, and you find out how to heal her. Okay, just be careful. Okay, with a smile, said Naruto. Stila and Layla floated away and Naruto was left alone with Muse. Well, shall we dance? The monster noticed and swam towards Naruto. Wow, concentrate, there you go. Three tails covered with armor flew out from Naruto's tailbone. They quickly hugged Muse. Muse resisted and was able to get out. Wow, Muse, you are a lively girl, Naruto said with a smile as he swam to attack Muse. 
Layla and Stila met the Little Mermaid guides and thought over a plan to save the Muse. Floating out of the cave, they saw Naruto fighting with Muse. Naruto. We figured out how to save Muse. We need to lure her there. Layla pointed to a place where there were many punishments. Naruto nodded and strengthened his hand with chakra and hit the monster's head. The Muse growled and quickly swam after Naruto. Naruto swam to the prison. Layla, Stila, and already three little mermaids were waiting for him there. The third was purple-red in color. The Muse surfaced from below and met the eyes of the third little mermaid. The Muse calmed down and a connection appeared between her and the little mermaid, which cleared the Muse of the powers of Tritanus. The Muse opened her eyes. She was immediately hugged. Strangle me, said the Muse from the embrace. Sorry, we were so worried. Well, it's time to solve the riddle, said Layla. Naruto and the girls swam to a harp made of shells. After a wonderful harp game, the Winx Club received the following clue. Having returned home, Naruto immediately lay down in his hammock without eating. Closing his eyes, he descended into the subconscious. Walking a little forward, he saw Jubi. She slept, wrapped in his cloak. Naruto came closer. After letting go, he looked at Jubi more closely. His face almost touched Jubi's face. Sweetie, Naruto whispered. Suddenly Jubi opened her right eye. She looked at Naruto's face. It was so close. Ena Naruto, what are you doing? Jubi's face turned red. She automatically pressed her cloak to her body. Sorry, but you have become even cuter than in your first form. Jubi's face took on the color of a tomato. She didn't understand how she felt, but she liked it when Naruto looked at her like that. Oh, sorry, I was staring at it, Naruto said moving away from Jubi. Jubi sat down on her knees and turned away. Nothing terrible. Really, it's good. Jubi, I wanted to ask how you were feeling. Jubi turned her head. Everything is fine. And yes see call me as before. M? Jubi-kun? No, it doesn't suit you, it's for boys. I came up with an idea, I'll call you Jubi-chan. Jubi didn't understand, but she liked this option more than the previous one. Okay. Now turn away, I'll get dressed. Naruto immediately blushed and turned away. Eh, but that's not all. I decided to write another part about Naruto in the world of My Little Pony. Below there will be a link to this fanfiction, go ahead and read it, you won't regret it. Just read the note. Christmas, a couple of winter, gifts, sweets. It is also a holiday of fun when friends, family, or a significant other celebrate it. The sun is shining outside the window. Naruto was lying in his hammock. His consciousness was in the subconscious. Naruto was playing cards with Jubi. Victory, 7 colon 4, I'm better than you, said Jubi, jumping on the spot with happiness. A week has passed since Jubi's transformation. She quickly accepted this transformation. She became very cheerful, but her love for chocolate, human meat and magical animals did not subside. Jubi looked like this. She was as tall as Naruto's eyes. She had an open right eye the color of blood with a Tomoya girl. Breast size 4, thin and flat tummy, elegant legs. Dressed in a white kimono with a design of a giant tree with a fruit on top. You play very well, okay, I'll go. Come on Naruto. Naruto woke up and jumped off the hammock, dressed in a blue t-shirt and black pants. After brushing his teeth, Naruto went to breakfast. On the way, he did not meet anyone from the Winx Club. After having breakfast and walking along the corridor, he saw that the girls went out into the yard. Naruto opened the window and jumped towards the Winx. The Winx were about to take Bloom to her home world, but they were interrupted by Naruto, who fell from the sky. Oops, I was looking for you, where are you going? 
KH, KH, we took Bloom to her world, she's having Christmas there, AI equals 11, Christmas, already, do you know what Christmas is? Well, yes, I celebrated it. Wow. Not far from the winks stood the tricks, completely invisible. Here they are, it's time to start, are you sure that this kid won't defeat us, we're sure he will doesn't even see us, the tricks stood in a triangle. They began to cast an ice spell. An ice ball appeared that turned into four dragons. They growled and flew towards the students. Naruto and the Winks immediately grouped up. The Winks transformed, and Naruto began to make seals with his hands. Kato. Big fireball. A giant ball of fire flew out of Naruto's mouth and hit one of the dragons. The ball hit the target, but at most it melted half of the body. The body began to regenerate and after 15 seconds the body was restored. Damn, we need more power, the Winks had already transformed and were also kicking off. The battle had already gone on for half an hour. All surplus personnel were evacuated. Suddenly Naruto heard voices from somewhere. Someone's spell sounded and Althea was covered with a bath. Two hours have passed. Bloom tried to call her parents, but the bather did not let the signal through. Bloom went to her room. Naruto came up with the idea of having Christmas in Elfia. For three hours Naruto and the Winks set up the Christmas tree and the festive table. Suddenly Bloom came out of the main doors of the school. Bloom, stop. We have prepared a surprise for you. Surprise? Which one? Come here. Bloom and Stila approached something large, covered with a cloth. Friends, come on. Suddenly the white fabric flew off and there was a Christmas tree made from various spare parts. Nearby there was a table with a crooked and large cake. We thought that you were upset that you would miss Christmas, and we tried to repeat it, said Layla. Thank you friends, Bloom hugged everyone. Suddenly, out of nowhere, the tricks appeared. Bloom, give it to the power of Christmas, otherwise it will be worse. Once upon a time, Winks, transformation, Harmonix. The Winks transformed and began a fight with the tricks. Naruto did not hesitate and, having grown seven-tailed wings, took off and began a battle with one of the dragons. During the battle, Bloom freed the spirit of the fire dragon. The dragon spun all the ice dragons, and Naruto also exhaled three of his fire dragons. There was an explosion, and the dome and the dragons dissipated. It began to snow from the explosion of dragons and baths. Suddenly all the students and teachers left the school. A portal opened nearby and Bloom's children and parents came out. Dad, Mom. Bloom, we finally met. Everyone began to celebrate Christmas. Everyone gave each other gifts, had fun, ate and danced. Now it was almost the end of Christmas and Naruto had gone to bed. He actually went to Jubi to congratulate her. Naruto went into his subconscious and saw that Jubi was sitting and bored on a cushion chair. Naruto quietly approached the Jubi. Happy Christmas to you. Jubi stood up sharply and turned around. Naruto stood in front of her dressed as Santa Claus. He was holding a gift in his hands. This is for me, but I have nothing to give. Nothing, it's a gift for me that you are nearby, Naruto said with a smile. Jubi blushed because of these words and turned away, but accepted the gift. T thank you. Not at all. Jubi opened the gift and saw a figurine. Naruto was holding Jubi in his arms, and below was the signature, the only one I have. How beautiful, thank you. Jubi said, jumping on Naruto and knocking him down. A, hey, relax, today there is some competition taking place in Alfia, I think it's a stupid book that helps us find stones to awaken Serenix to appear at this time. But in general, I wanted to relax. What? Why, nope, I, I wanted to say, don't you need to look for the last stone to awaken Serenix, Jubi was confused by what Naruto said. Yes, my beautiful, Naruto, Naruto, 
can you hear me? Now Naruto was sitting on the shore of a lake in Alfia. He looked at the horizon and whistled some tune. Suddenly his body neighbor turned to him. Yes. All this Winx training, fighting monsters and tricks has tired me so much. I decided to rest, and we need to think about how we will fight Atsatsuki. You still believe that the threat to the world is Atsatsuki? More likely, yes. I can't stand alone against even seven Atsatsukas. Okay, can I go outside? Why? Well, I want to take a walk and swim. A, A, the next day, Bloom, Stila, Flora, Layla, Naruto and Sky flew to Domino. The Winx did not understand Naruto's words. I can't even get through without a ticket, I can feel in my ass that something will happen, but there are no tickets for you, true, you can go. Yes, tomorrow by the way, Domino's holiday, in honor of the fact that Sky saved him. My parents will be there, well then, we're waiting for the book to appear, Jubi sat in a seal on Naruto's stomach and laughed at Naruto's thoughts, in thoughts, so, as should have been proven, this book appears at the most difficult moment, Jaya Saranix has not yet said where to look for it, in his thoughts. Dash 1 2 3 True, well, where do you have to swim to get the last stone, Naruto raised three fingers up and began to defend the seconds, we are on the last step before getting Sirenix. I was walking through the forest, Naruto, where have you been, Naruto walked back to school. The Winx Club ran towards him. As Naruto said, a book to help find Sirenix stones appeared in the midst of competition. Flora, Muse and Stila swam to find him, while Bloom, Layla and Tecna remained. During the competition, the tricks appeared. They wanted to catch Bloom in order to blackmail Daphne for information from the Sirenix, but they failed. Naruto arrived at the end when everyone had already finished, Miracle, whispered Naruto, Jubi simply created a swimsuit and ran to swim. Naruto opened his eyes. He was speechless. A beautiful, one and only girl was swimming in a clear lake. Because of the splashes, the drops rose into the air and formed a rainbow under the sun's rays, well, okay. Put it on anyway, suddenly someone will come here. On the one hand, Naruto was glad that Jubi trusted him so much that she was ready to show off naked, but he wasn't ready for this until he was ready, why do I need it, there's only you here, why do I need it, there's only you here, Jubi-chan, you don't have a swimsuit, said Naruto covering his red face with his hands, Jubi quickly began to take off all his clothes. Hey, Naruto. Well, why are you stuck, let's go for a swim. Naruto opened the seal and Jubi came out. Naruto couldn't stop admiring the beauty of his jubi. He protected her with his own, no matter how immoral it seemed. If someone wanted to harm her, he would break the offender's neck without a single delay. Okay, okay. The girls came by invitation. Naruto was walking along the path, but suddenly two spears blocked his path. Hello, you have an invitation. The winks already wanted to talk to the guards. I don't need an invitation. Naruto went through the gap, but suddenly he was grabbed by the shoulder. Hey, man, entry by invitation only. Suddenly Naruto's mouth transformed into the mouth of a monster. Naruto bit off the guard's hand with one swing. Ay -ay -ay. Help. Everyone witnessed the scene as the guard began to scream for no reason. Genjutsu, Naruto thought. Naruto passed by. Naruto, what did you do to him? Nothing, he was apparently tired, ha ha ha. The winks tensed a little with Naruto's laughter. Then everyone prepared for the holiday, but as Naruto predicted, Saranix's book appeared at the most inopportune moment. Everyone headed to the yellow carol to find the last Saranix stone. When everyone arrived, it turned out that they needed to fight a monster. Ha ha ha. Great. Naruto used lightning techniques, which had a huge effect. The monster didn't last even five minutes. Bloom took the last stone. It turned out, we found him. Yes. When everyone arrived back, 
they saw that Bloom's parents were frozen, and Sky fought with tricks. Naruto and the Winx helped and defeated the tricks. After unfreezing Bloom's parents, Sky revealed that Daphne was being held captive by Tritanus. We move on to the moment of the meeting of Tritanus and the Winx in Lake Rakalush. Wow, what a big fish, said Naruto. Oh, you pathetic man, soon you will become my warrior. Ha ha ha, dream tadpole. Tritanus flew towards Naruto, and Naruto flew towards Tritanus. Trident and Kubikiribocho collided. Another blow. Naruto and Tritanus were thrown back. Tritanus fired an arrow of corrupted energy. Naruto quickly dodged. Naruto began to make seals. A giant water dragon began to spin next to him. Tritanus sensed danger and before the dragon touched him, he disappeared. Chi, escaped. Naruto swam to the Winx Club. Did you defeat Tritanus? No, he ran away. I see you are ready to receive the power of Sirenix. Everyone nodded. Then forward. Everyone swam into the cave. Winx Club and Naruto held hands. Each of them began to glow. Suddenly, their boxes with Sirenix assistance appeared in front of the Winx. Winx, you were able to obtain the power of Sirenix, now the path to the endless ocean is open to you. All six fairies stood in a circle. Six energy rays appeared from them, but the portal that was supposed to open did not appear. What, why doesn't the portal open? Because not everything is here. Everyone heard a man's voice. A box with his Sirenix assistant appeared in front of Naruto. He opened and Ruzel stood in front of everyone, I found only this version of the male pronunciation, mermaid. It had a purple color. And who are you? Fool, if only you called me at least once, I'm like your assistant. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, okay, let's open the portal. This time it worked and everyone entered the portal. Coming out of there, everyone was transformed. Girls, look at the outfits and hairstyles. Yeah, really beautiful. Everyone looked at Naruto and immediately turned away. His t-shirt covered his chest as much as possible, and his abs were on full display. Beautiful, not a pessy, but why did you laugh, you understood my pain when you fight in your outfits. And it suits you, said Jubi. Naruto was surprised and delighted by this. T thank you, said Naruto, Jubi. After receiving Serenix, Winx and Naruto decided to take a day off. Well, the Winx had a day off, and Naruto had been swinging his sword with his clone for several hours. A blow and a new crater in the ground. Naruto didn't think about resting, but suddenly he was distracted. Naruto. Jubi, oh damn. Due to the fact that Naruto was distracted, he was almost cut to pieces by his own clone. Wow, I managed to dodge, Jubi-chan, don't distract me anymore. Sorry. What did you want? I wanted to go to the beach. Beach, but I have training, slash span, Tritanus understood that there were more of them, and he did not fully recover and covered himself with his subordinates, yes, we got Sirenix and now you will receive for everything terrible that you have done. Layla said, shooting at Tritanus, they got Sirenix. Tritanus concluded, well, they can enter too into the endless ocean? Tritanus opened a portal to the endless ocean, but the Winx immediately followed him, let's leave. Tritanus ordered, seeing how the Winx destroyed Hurricane Stormy, you're right, said Icy, Winx. Don't you think, or have they changed since the last battle? Winx, Sire Nix. A. Trix and Tritanus swam to the trash island to charge Tritanus with dark energy, at the trash island, Jubi entered the water. Having immersed herself in it, instead of legs, she had a mermaid's tail. Jubi could change her body due to Makutan cells. She swam after the winks with extraordinary speed, where are they, Jubi was about to go swimming, but she saw the winks transform and flew somewhere, beautiful, I should have called Naruto, but he is training so hard, Jubi came to the shore of the beach. 
she looked up at the sky. The bright sun shone and warmed the people on the shore. The water lightly touched Juby's feet, the Winx Club transformed and flew to the garbage island, Winx, Sirenix, Winx, Sirenix, okay, okay, I'll keep quiet, Stila, are you sure we need to go there? Stila asked with disgust, I don't know Layla, it's probably him, let's go to that island, do you think this is Tritanus? The Winx Club was now cleaning up trash with everyone on the beach. Due to the fact that there was a garbage island nearby, all the garbage floated onto the beach, eh, it seems to me or something, will that happen? I, okay, where did I stop? Jubi came out of the seal and hugged Naruto as a sign of gratitude and ran for a swim, okay, be careful, I'll use an illusion, are you sure they'll suddenly see you? So let me go myself. Layla, you won't shoot at your cousins and your aunt and uncle. Oh, you bastard. Ha ha ha, goodbye, Tritanus wanted to finish something, but felt pain in his shoulder. Looking there, he saw, no, he did not see his shoulder. There was a large bite in the place where muscles and bones should be. Ay ay ay. Everyone looked back and saw a mermaid. White hair and pale skin. One red voice and the open mouth of a monster. You, you almost killed Naruto, Jubi whispered in a trance. The flesh of Tritanus, saturated with dark energy, did not poison, but turned Jubi's head. What have you done, you bastard? Icy shouted, shooting at Jubi. One blink and Icy flew off into the nearest boulder. Stormy and Darcy forged the Yubis. The first one struck with electricity, and the second tried to hypnotize Jubi. But neither one nor the other had any effect. Aaaaaa, Jubi growled at everyone and in an instant she hit Stormy and Darcy tail. Jubi slowly turned her head towards Tritanus. Purple blood flowed like a river from the wound and mixed with the water. You, I will kill you with the most painful death. Jubi slowly swam up to Tritanus and began to slowly eat Tritanus, little pieces at a time. For the first ten minutes he resisted, for the next ten minutes he tried to negotiate, and the rest of the time he begged for help until he fainted. The Winx watched this for a maximum of five minutes until their breakfast asked to come outside. They wanted to stop the strange girl, but could not get closer. When all that was left of the Tritanus was the head and a little bit of the torso, something incomprehensible happened. At great speed, the white-haired girl was hit by another person. Both of them flew away several hundred meters by inertia. In the crater. Now Naruto was lying and hugging the white-haired mermaid. He knew who it was and wasn't the least bit surprised. And Naruto, why did you stop me, I'm almost finished. Said Jubi getting up a little and shouting at Naruto. Naruto was not angry at this tone of address. Why are you silent? Answer. Naruto didn't say anything, just hugged. And why? What, he poisoned you. So what, you saved me. But, Jubi was a little embarrassed by this, but she was very tired mentally that day. She snuggled closer to Naruto and dozed off. Jubi nodded and Naruto, like a prince, took Jubi in his arms, stupid, there's no need to take revenge for me if you're nearby and that's enough. Now let's go home, I prepared your favorite sweets. I don't know, as soon as I saw him I fell into anger. Remembering that you could have died because of him, I went wild and couldn't stop. Jubi began to cry. Naruto, of course, hugged Jubi, why? He asked more insistently Naruto, he. Why? Naruto asked again, looking into Jubi's eyes. This is how the life of one of Neptune's sons ended. Everyone who was cursed by dark energy after some time turned back into themselves. This is such a quick end.